Man, have I had an interesting day today. And don't worry, I'm going to tell you all about it. Can I go up there? I don't know what's up there, but we'll go that way. Are you gonna... What just... What the fuck just happened? Okay, cops not pulling me over. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but that's funny because of what my story is of today. Ooh, what the fuck was that? I. Oh man, I was about to say if that fucking happens to me right now, it is not a good timing at all. So, by now you guys know that you know about the ticket I got uh, a while back ago, going down 85, being stupid, whatever. So. Today was my court date. So, uh, and let me just start off with saying, um, I have been looking online to try to pay my ticket for the court so I didn't have to end up going to court. Ticket never showed up online. So I was forced to go to the court date, which is fine. I took off work, I showed up this morning, did the whole court thing, paid my fine at the, the courthouse, and part of the, Jesus, that's a big building. Part of the thing was, uh, I had to go get fingerprinted. God, why does that? Uh, part of my, whatever it's called, was to go get fingerprinted after I paid my fine. So I was like, whatever, that's no big deal, whatever. So I go out and I pay my fine, and I'm like, and I'm supposed to get fingerprinted somewhere. They're like, oh, you do that at the jail, which is like right down the road. And I'm like. I have to go all the way to the jail to get my get fingerprinted, but all right, whatever. That's I, I figured they didn't have a fingerprint machine, so that's why it, it's more convenient because you know the cop like you know at a jail they'd have a fingerprint machine. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Uh, she's like, have you ever been to the jail here? And I'm like, no. What? Really? Do y'all have that many public like reoffenders that you, people just know where the fucking jail is? Anyway. Uh, so I'm like, no, she hands me this paper, gives me just instructions on how to get to the jail from the courthouse place, so I go to the jail, <laughs> I show up with this little piece of paper, and I'm like, here you go, I'm here to get fingerprinted, and keep in mind, I am in full, like, court attire, I'm all, like, nicely dressed and shit. Also, if you haven't watched the, the video of me getting a ticket, uh, in case you haven't seen it, watch it whenever you get a second. But since you're on this video, I had to get fingerprinted because my driver's license was invalid when I got the ticket. It's all been fixed now, and it was fixed two days after I got the ticket. Regardless, I still had to get fingerprinted. Anyway, so I go to the jail getting fingerprinted. He gives me, when I, when I tell him, you know, I'm here to get fingerprinted, he hands me this little sheet, and it says, like, inmate check-in. And I'm like, inmate check-in? I'm here to get fingerprinted. What the fuck? I'm not an inmate. Regardless, signed the little sheet and all that shit, and I, I hand it back to him. And he's being a nice guy. I'm being really polite and nice and shit and respectful. I go and hand him this fucking sheet, and he goes, All right, sir, if you could step over to the side here. I step over to the side, and he says, All right, sir, now if you could please turn around and put your hands behind your back. I'm like, you are fucking shitting me again. I'm getting handcuffed when I do not deserve to be getting fucking handcuffed. So, handcuffs me, escorts me all the way to the back of the fucking jail. Keep in mind, once I got handcuffs on, to him, oh, I was an inmate at that point. What the fuck are you people doing? Just people just walking across the fucking road like it's a goddamn crosswalk. Anyway, once I got these handcuffs on, Oh, this dude, I lost all respect for me. 
suddenly he was like, turn here, go, no, turn around, go this way, just being a total fucking dick, um, and same guy that was being nice to me before I signed these fucking papers, anyway, leads me to the back of the fucking jail, I sit in a small little box next to a dude with a white torn, like a torn white shirt with blood on it, like basketball shorts, and and the dude is sitting here just like, like moving his head around, and he cannot stay still. He's obviously nervous as hell. And I stayed with this guy for like the next couple hours. So I get all my shit taken away, my phone. I have to take my belt off. They take uh, my wallet and all that shit. I get my little. I, I get a picture taken and shit. I get uh, what else? All right, so I got my picture taken, and that's when they took all my shit. And then I sat in a little waiting area for like, I don't know, 30 minutes. After that 30 minute time, I get escorted by a different police officer to the back of the jail where there's all the holding cells and shit. And I'm like, the, what is all this shit? Because keep in mind, I was told I have to go to this location and get fingerprinted and then I can go home. So now, I'm sitting in a holding cell, probably 12 feet by 12 feet, maybe? Probably not even that. Let's say 12 feet by 10 feet holding cell. In that space, there was about 15 to 20 of us. And when I say of us, I do not mean I am on the same social grade as these people. These guys were talking about one dude the reason he was in is because he beat his his girlfriend, like he smashed her window and shit with his kid in the car. So we're talking about like a child and a child abuser person. Some dude was talking about how he's raped somebody before. These are the people my ass is sitting in a holding cell with. So I'm sitting in this cell for like what seems a eternity. And I'll talk overall time frame at the end of this. After a long time in this waiting cell with all these people, my name gets called, I go up there, I give this lady my information. I mean, it, it's so ridiculous how little I fit into this group of people. But she's like, all right, where do you work? And I was like, blank, tell her the new job location. And she's like, and what do you do there? And I'm like, I'm a blank. And she's like, now what company is that? If you guys knew what company I worked for, it would be like, a, you, it, it, it's that company. It's the one. The only one like that. So, so ridiculous. I get that piece of paper, and what does she tell me to do? Go back in the fucking waiting room. So I do. I go back in my inmate-infested waiting room, and I'm sitting there just standing against the wall, waiting, 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 waiting. So, eventually... All the guys in the little room start becoming buddy-buddy, and they start talking and laughing about all these horrible fucking things they do, and my ass is just sitting there silent as fuck. Like, I hope I don't get killed right now. So, all these guys are getting buddy-buddy, they get getting talking and get loud and loud, and eventually they get so loud that the, one of the like little head cop guy comes up in there and is all like, guys, we don't run it like this. And then he looks at a couple of us, me included, and goes, you guys, follow me. Takes me <laughs> and this group of other guys to this other fucking waiting room. To, we were in four, they took us to nine. Which is across the whole giant little area of where all the things are held. I go to nine. I sit there with my, my smaller yet new group of people for what, again, seems like a very long time. Seems like forever, uh... And nobody comes for a while. I mean, it's a good, it's a good while. And eventually, a cop comes, takes one of the Hispanic guys that was in the room with me, takes him as he goes, oh, you're just here to get fingerprinted. And doesn't say anything to me. Keep in mind, it's me and this other Mexican guy that are the only ones that have any resemblance of nice clothing on. You know, like button-up shirts and nice shoes and khaki pants and shit. We're the only two. Looks in the entire room, points him out, and then takes him off to do his fingerprinting bullshit. And I'm just sitting in there like, um... 
Uh, yeah, me? What happened to fucking me? Cobb leaves, door shuts, and he's gone. All the guys in the room look around, they're like, aren't you here to get just fingerprinted? Because at this point, we've all, like, said what we do, what we did to get in there. Alright, <laughs> so I'm like, yeah? So, thank God, there's this giant uh, black guy in there. And I tell him that, and he's like, what the fuck, man? Starts banging on the fucking glass of the door. Eventually, a cop shows up, and he's like, man, he's got to get fingerprinted, too. So, thank God for that, dude. Because when he did that, the cop was like, oh, right. Takes me out of the room. Sits me out in front with nice tears and shit. And uh, he's like, all right, just wait and she'll get you fingerprinted. So, then I wait again. Fucking again. Uh, the chick fingerprints me, once again, total fucking bitch, like I have just, I've killed babies in wombs, uh, that's what these people are acting, like that's the, that's the attitude they're giving me, um, and I'm being, I am nice this whole fucking time, let's just be real, I have done nothing but shown very much respect for all these cops, I realize they're just doing their jobs. But when somebody's nice to you, you don't have to be a fucking cunt back. But, I mean, right? Anyway, she fingerprints me, is a total bitch. So I do that, and she gives me some attitude. She's like, alright, you can go wait over there. So I'm waiting more. And at this point, I'm done. I've gotten my fingerprints. I should be done now. I want to get my shit together. I want to fucking leave this hellhole. And I never want to come back. So then I wait. For an hour. I wait, sitting there. And what was I waiting on? Oh, they were waiting on a couple other people that had to get fingerprinting and other stuff done before I could go so we could all be escorted out at the same time. So, eventually, I my fingerprints are done. Uh, they tell us to go this way. I deal with a few more people that act like I'm the scum of the fucking earth. And then I, I leave. So when I left... I was like, that, like, I got there at 10. I did my court thing, I got to the jail at 10. And I was leaving, looking at, like, I wasn't even looking at my phone yet, I hadn't even got into the car, and I was like, man, I'm hungry, like, you know, it must be around probably, like, lunchtime-ish, you know, because I'm hungry now. I get in my fucking car and turn it on, and it was 3 fucking 30. Five and a half hours of my life today was spent to get fingerprints. Let me reiterate, fingerprints. I had to go through the entire booking process at a fucking jail because I needed to get fingerprints done. This was all because when I tried to update my driver's license with my new address when I moved, the online thing did not work, yet told me it did, and made my driver's license invalid. So, the DMV fucked me, and then turned around and fucked me again by make, like basically booking me like a criminal because their system failed on me and did not let me know. Five and a half hours for doing nothing wrong. I am fucking pissed at this fucking situation. The ticket I deserved. I am totally fine with getting a ticket. I was driving like an idiot and I deserve every bit of that ticket. Driving without a license no, 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 I did not do that. Your system did not let me know that when I updated my license, it did not fully go through, even though you took my money to make the thing go through. Obviously, Mr. Judgeman, when I got my license updated two days later, what are you doing? Where are you going? Why the judge didn't notice when the attorney dude was like, yeah, judge, it looks like right here that he got his license updated. 
a couple days after the uh, the ticket. Why that didn't tell you that obviously it was a fucking mistake and you were doing something incorrect. Why that wasn't a thing that went through your mind, I'm really not sure. Regardless, that's what I spent doing today because my day was awesome. So, let me say, I don't hate cops. I don't, I don't even, I really dislike calling them pigs. I don't think that's cool at all. And I'm not, you know, trying to hate on any of these people because they were just doing their job. But man, you don't have to be that fucking dickish to somebody that's being totally respectable and nice to you. And that whole situation, the fact that that even became a situation, yeah, just come up. My God, what are these people doing? The fact that all that was even a situation, totally fucking ridiculous, man. Like I said, I owe, I own up to what I did wrong that day, and I'm fine with paying a fine or doing whatever it has to do with regards to what I did wrong. But if I'm, just the fact that I had to go through all that for something that would, it wasn't my fault, oh my God, it infuriates me so bad. You're gonna pull out because that'd be awesome. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing today not been the best day of my life i can't tell you man i was sitting in that fucking waiting cell thinking i took off my professional fucking job so i could come and wait in a fucking holding cell with actual criminals for five and a half hours Oh, dude, I was livid and still am mad. That's how bad. That's how mad I was, because I've calmed down now. I'm out of the situation. It's whatevs. So think how pissed off I was earlier, and during the whole time was very nice to all the people that I had to deal with, all the cops and shit. I was very polite to them. I try to keep in mind, or I tried to keep in mind that they are just doing their job, but. You could have done a fucking better job than that. I work at a bar and I don't want to be nice to everybody I see at the bar, but I am because I'm a polite person. You guys could definitely make use of being a little more polite to the people. Granted, all the things they deal with, with all the people, I can see how do you want to just auto-mean, and that's fine. But if you're auto-mean and somebody's nice back, at least, you know, equalize. You know, like, stop being so fucking mean to somebody that's actually nice to you. I don't know. I'm just going to keep ranting. So I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm going to stop this video and... Hopefully go play in some traffic a little more. I'm trying to just, like, get it all out of my system and go ride and get it done with. Because I don't want to keep it... <laughs> keep this built up pissed offness, like, any more past today. I want it to get over with today, and I don't want it to be anymore. So, that's why I'm out riding... I got back, and I was fucking starving, ate something, I was like, alright, I have to go ride, because otherwise I'm just going to sit at home and be pissed off. So why not go piss off and go ride and make a video? Woohoo! <laughs> so, yeah, that was my day in jail. I'm going to go play in traffic, <laughs> and I'll see you guys on my next video, where hopefully I won't be bitching about being in jail. I'll just bitch about getting every red light. <laughs> uh, bye guys, I'll catch you next time. Man, if that cop at the beginning of this video would have pulled me over today, dude, I'd have lost my shit. Holy fucking balls. You know? I was like, oh, oh, sir, I'm sorry, I've already sat in jail for six hours today. I'd prefer if you just let me go.